여러분 안녕하세요. Uh, hey guys, so it's it's uh, the first time I'm coming on camera since I've been in Korea, minus the mini vlog that I did, and I wanted to come and do a little update on how things have been going while I'm here. It's been five days since I've been here, two days of classes, um, and four days in Daegu. So I'm just going to tell you how things have been. This is like the only time that I've actually been able to come back to my dorm and get some camera time. So first off, I want to say that I didn't come here with an extreme amount of Korean knowledge. I knew a little bit and um, my listening skills were, I guess, okay my listening skills were okay my speaking skills were subpar and my reading and writing skills were very minimal to say the least so I wasn't coming here with a lot of Korean knowledge but I can say however that in my time being here I my Korean has improved within five days I know it sounds like I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. It has improved within five days, and I surprise it's I surprise myself. It's surprising me how much my Korean has improved. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so first of all, I am in Daegu, which is a little bit towards the south, and maybe I think it's the the third or the fourth largest city. Um, when I was in Seoul, when I was in Hyundai, more people spoke English than here. So, I am forced to use Korean like I, I don't have if not nobody would ever communicate with me seriously so that being said you can see why I said my Korean has improved um you know every now and then you, ha you I have some friends here of course who went to my own university that helped me every now and then but when they're not there I'm I'm by myself and I just want to say that there are, uh, besides my language improvement, my my speaking abilities have improved. I would also be like to believe that my listening abilities have improved because some people take note of the fact that I'm a foreigner and they speak slower. But I really want to say that most do not. And they just speak their normal Korean. And I, either I catch on or I don't. And that's those who will even speak to me. Some people won't even speak to me. They refuse to speak to me because they know they don't know English. And some, all they do is stare at me. Now that's been the one thing that I've said plenty of times um, on my social media sites since I've been here. But people just stare at me. They just stare and they just stare and they just stare and they don't say anything. And not so much young people. Young people do look at me. They do look. But... I will say like the older people, like the older Ajumas and Ajushis, they stare hard and they turn their neck. They go. They stop walking in the middle of the crosswalk. We're crossing the street and they stop walking and they just go. Like they weren't sure if they just saw me and they turned back around again to make sure that they saw what they saw. I have not seen, me personally, I have not seen any other black person so far. Um, I've seen some Saudi Arabians who are dark skinned. I've seen some Indians who are dark skinned. But I have not seen any other black person. And... I don't know. Maybe that has some... Th I don't... Because I, I know foreigners get stared at, but I don't believe that they're staring because I'm a foreigner. I believe they're staring because I'm black. And not only do they stare because I'm black, but they stare because I'm speaking Korean. And <laughs> they follow me to hear how, like, how I'm going to respond to things. They want to see what I'm buying at the store they want to see how I pay for things like I have been a walking show since I got here people just follow me everywhere and some 
some girls look but I would say most of the looks I get are from guys and are from older men and older women it's come to a point in this being my fifth day that when they stare and I see them blatantly staring and hold and I hold their gaze if they're just gonna stare I, I greet them and I say yeah yeah sir and it's like the world has ended oh 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 they're like yeah, yeah, so. Like they, they just stare. At, or if I greet them and you know they're they're surprised that I greeted them, then they walk away. But other than that, you know, that's one thing. I I do have a Korean to English and English to Korean dictionary that I bought in when I was in New York, um, when I was interning that time. Um, I bought this in Koreatown, and I've been using this for the most part while I'm here. Um, but I want to say that most of the things that I have learned, I've learned through just use and necessity. When I go to a store and I need to know where something is, I, you know, I just, I have to learn what words to use in situational context. And I, I want to say that's been helping me more than any textbook or any, you know, you know what I mean? Conversational Korean has basically been the reason why I've been able to learn so well. So I use, once I get a good grasp of the vocabulary, like if I don't know a word, I use the dictionary to find the word, then I know the connecting phrases. So I guess for, for example, I know to have is isoyo. Yo, you know, is the formal part. So I know to have is iso. So isoyo. And maybe I'm looking for like, maybe I'm looking for water. Well... I can find that myself, <laughs> but like, you know, something like, uh, like I, um, I like to buy yogurt or I like to buy banana milk. I like to buy yogurt or banana milk a lot. And that sometimes I can't find myself or kimbap. So I, I go to the person, I go to a cashier or somebody and I say, yeah, uh, like, like let's say I'm looking for water. Mul, I know water is mul. So mul is soyo, mul is soyo. And and they would say either yay so or or ani op ani op opseo. Um but most you know they're gonna say yeah and then I know like you know then follow up words like anmayo like where is it and I mean how much is it? You know, things of that nature. So that's how I've been learning the Korean through the contextual practicing. So besides the stairs and besides learning Korean in a contextual sense, everything has been everything has been interesting. I don't know. It's an it's it's different, and I just wanted to make this video while I had a little bit of time uh, to do so. Um, I do get referred to as miguk uh, saram, miguk saram. Yoja, and I have been introduced as that a couple of times so far. I've noticed, and it's the girl from the the pretty girl from America. Uh, but there's no, you know, Caucasian Americans, and I am the only African American here. And I, my my English is very, I guess, native. Mm. I don't know how to say this without like bragging or boosting myself up, but. Um, my English sounds the most natural out of the exchange students here my English sounds the most natural so people like seek after me a lot for English reasons and of course I'm here of course I'm here on the Japanese program so which is another thing that kind of blows people's mind to be a black female from America on a Japanese program but speaking Korean so there's been a couple of labels thrown my way, and uh, it's been interesting. Like I said, it's been interesting. I'm having an interesting time, and I'm really enjoying the food, to say the least. I've always loved Korean food, but I love it even more. So I just wanted to come and give this little update for those uh, who wanted to know how things were going. If you want to see my life in pictures, of course, you can follow me on Instagram. I post all my life in Korea's pictures there. And you can follow my uh, blog, 
Miss Brahane, that blog spot, or you can follow my Tumblr, which my Tumblr probably has its own subcategory for my travels here. Hmm, so that's pretty much it. Um, and I like the way my school is. It's like a city, like a small city. Well, it's a big city, but it reminds me of like my campus. I feel like my campus is New York, New York City. So that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I guess if you have any questions about what I'm experiencing, let me know. Or any comments, write them down below. Or if you want me to talk about anything for the next video, let me know. But that's going to be it for this one. I, I know I rambled a lot. But <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. All right. Bye-bye.